Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Where to find Michigan mugshots? Dead and curious about where to find Michigan mugshots? Let's dive into the details. Mugshots are typically taken by law enforcement agencies when someone is arrested. In Michigan, these images are part of public records. And in first, you can check the Michigan Department of Corrections, MDACA website. They have an offender tracking information system, OTIS. This system provides information on inmates, parolees, and probationers. You can search by name, birth date, or MDOC number. Denon County Sheriff's Offices are another resource. Each county in Michigan has its own sheriff's office, which maintains arrest records. Many of these offices have online databases. For example, Wayne County and Oakland County have searchable databases on their websites. NN local police departments also maintain arrest records. If the arrest happened in a city, the city's police department might have the mugshot. Some larger cities like Detroit and Grand Rapids have online databases. Den N for federal arrests, you can check the Federal Bureau of Prisons, BOP website. They have an inmate locator tool. This tool allows you to search for individuals in federal custody. If you prefer offline methods, you can visit the county courthouse. Courthouses keep records of all legal proceedings, including arrests. You can request to view these records in person. NN Freedom of Information Act, FOIA, requests are another option. Michigan's FOIA allows you to request public records from government agencies. This includes mugshots. Each agency has its own process for FOIA requests. And, and lastly, third-party websites compile public records from various sources. Websites like countyoffice.org aggregate data from government databases. These sites often have search tools for finding mugshots. Remember, while mugshots are public records, they should be used responsibly. They can have a significant impact on a person's life. Always consider the context and the potential consequences. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.